Hey guys, Steve Petrato here with FPV 101 and today we're going to be talking about goggles. Which FPV headset is going to be best for you to start out in your FPV journey? As you, as you can probably imagine, there's a lot of different options, uh, but I want to walk through about four different goggles here today and get you an idea of whether, whether or not you need to spend 200 bucks or 500 plus dollars. So let's get started on, on my right here. We have the Teleporter V4. This is probably one of the most low-end goggles you can find, but it's still a very good option uh, for the guy who doesn't want to spend more than 200 bucks and just wants a pretty no frills type of goggle system. Uh, the key things to note here is it comes with eye cups and not a faceplate. And I'll talk about the faceplate next, but as you can notice, your eyes kind of fit right into these cups here. Uh, there's no IPD adjustment. IPD is how far away your pupil is from each side. So you'll have these sliders on the bottom. The teleporters don't have that. So kind of where the lenses are sitting is where they're going to sit forever. So you can't adjust to that. Um, also, it comes with a transmitter module or receiver module, excuse me. Uh, that's going to obviously give you your fat shark channels one through seven. And it's going to come with a antenna there, an omnidirectional antenna. You have a very basic channel, channel adjustment buttons up top here. That's just going to bounce between one all the way up through seven. You have a, you have a contrast and brightness knob up there uh, and a volume tab as you can, you can send obviously audio back through the channel. Um, so this is a pretty inexpensive goggle. The other cool thing about this is it has uh, what we call digital head tracking. And what that does is really just zooms in on the image and as you turn your head from side to side or up or down, it moves the digital part of the image up and down with you. So you can kind of look side to side, up and down and kind of get that head tracking feel, although your camera is not actually moving. So that's a Teleporter V4, very inexpensive, but a really good starting place uh, for a, a FPV goggle. Moving up the line is the Attitude V3. They are gonna come with a ventilation system. So it will have a fan on top and it does have a face plate on the back here. Now we've actually modified these older Attitude V2s up to the V3, but what this face plate does is gives you a nice uh, padded plate for your eyes. You don't have the eye cups and it spaces the uh, image a little bit further away from you. You've got that ventilation system. You've got a module inside. It does have a little door here, and you can kind of change from race band uh, to band A, band E, fat shark band. You've got all the different bands, so you can hit. Uh, you don't have to just use a fat shark video transmitter. So that's a nice, nice little setup there. Your video channel changes right here on the side, and of course you've got your contrast and brightness knob up top. The ventilation system is key. So I think if, think of it as a very nice upgrade to your ad, uh, to your teleporters because if you're outside, it's hot. Maybe you're sweaty. You pop on the you pop on the fan system right there with a little button, and now you've got nice cool air coming in, keeping your lenses from fogging up. It's a really nice feature. I at first didn't think you needed it, but once you start to use it, you go, "Wow, I, mean, I really kind of need that feature." So it's really nice. Lastly, on these on the bottom here, you are going to have those IPD adjustments as these two sliders right here. So I can slide the lenses. I don't know if you can see inside of this, but if I slide this, the lenses actually move. And so that if I have my eye, if my eyes are set further apart from somebody else's, I can match up the lenses so that they're directly in front of my pupils and I get a better sight picture. So that is the Attitude V3. This one does not have diversity and does not have a DVR. DVR meaning you can record exactly what the goggles are seeing. Lastly, uh, the Dominator HD 2s from Fat Shark. This is gonna be the most premium setup, uh, most expensive goggle out there. And Fatrack also makes uh, another type of goggle called the Dominator V3s, and those I can talk about in a minute, but let's talk about the HT2s. This is gonna be your largest field of view by, by any means on an, any kind of goggle. Good morning. My name is Professor Uber Schmartzen, and we're going to talk today about FPV goggle field of view. So please open your books now to chapter nine. Imagine going to the movies. The screen at this theater has an aspect ratio of 4 by 3, just like most of today's FPV goggles. Now, the teleporter has a 24 degree field of view. That will be like sitting in the very back row and the screen will appear very small and far away. With the Attitude V3, the 32 degree field of view will be as if you move to the center of the theater and the screen will now appear closer and larger. The Dominator HD2 has a large 50 degree field of view. That will be like sitting in the front row and seeing the entire screen up close. The next generation of FPV goggles will have a 16 by 9 screen ratio 
and the field of view will be even wider. Now, I hope that explains everything about the field of view for you. There will be a quiz later. This one has a couple of neat features as well. So you're gonna have, of course, that IPD adjustment on the bottom. You're gonna get that face plate. It's a nice soft face plate. It does not come with a receiver module, so you'll have to buy that. And there are many different ones out there. Fat Shark makes one, of course. Team Black Sheep makes one. There's all different kind of uh, modules out there, so whatever suits your needs, you'll need to account for the cost of that in these goggles. Um, so that's gonna come blank. And then <clears throat> this one does have the ventilation system. It's got a little guard up top so you don't get your hair caught in it. And the, the cool thing on this is that it will uh, have a DVR. So this little tiny slot here is for a SD card. And then what you'll do on top is just push a couple of buttons and now you're recording exactly what you're seeing in the goggles. It's not gonna be HD video, but it's really nice lightweight setup if you're wanting to record your flights and not carry an HD camera on your quad. Uh, a DVR is a really nice setup to have. Uh, lastly, on the HD2s, is they have an HDMI in. Now, why would you need that? Well, it's actually kind of cool because I've actually played uh, simulators like Liftoff using these goggles and through my computer. So I can plug in an HDMI. It comes with a micro HDMI and even an HDMI cable in the box. And that can plug right into your computer. And when you put these on, it's like looking right at your monitor. So it's a really nice setup if you're playing a simulator online. Uh, the HD2s have that really cool feature. Plus, you can watch movies from your phone if you're on the airplane and look like a super nerd on any flight. So anyway, that's the HD2s. The goggle I don't have in front of me is the Dominator V3. And briefly, I'll touch on that one. But the difference between that and maybe the HD2s is the fact that it's a 16 by 9 image. So all of these goggles, all four of these that we just talked about are a four by three image, meaning it's pretty square. The Dominator V3s are a 16 by nine, so it's a little squattier, a little wider, but keep in mind, all of our cameras on our quads these days are shooting in four by three, so that image is gonna be a little squatted down. All right, guys, well, I hope that helps you out. Going from the cheapest set of goggles to the most expensive here. Um, hopefully this gives you everything you need to know for FPV goggles, and uh, happy flying. Thanks, guys. Mm -hmm.